Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS Adam programming. In this video, we will see how to create treatment emergent adverse event flag in a crossover study. So in a crossover study, what happens is the subject would be taking different treatments over different treatment periods. So let's say there are, in the example we are seeing, there are three treatment periods. So there is period one and then period two and then period three. So here each period will have its own start and end date. So an event may be considered treatment emergent if it is falling in between this or if it is falling here or if it is falling here. So we will see how to derive the treatment emergent flag in such cases. So let's now move to the programming aspects. So before that, let's go to the specification and then see how it is written. So here the definition is given for three variables. The first one is ASTDT, which is analysis star date. So here we are being asked to convert AE STDTC to numeric format. So and then we have the derivation logic provided for TRT EMFL, for, which is T treatment emergent flag. So set to Y on the events where AP01 HDT is less than or is equal to ASTDT less than or is equal to AP01 EDT. So if an event is falling in between the first period start and end dates, so inclusive of the start and end dates, so or if it is falling between the start and end dates of period 2 or if it is falling in between the start and end dates of period 3, so we are being asked to populate treatment emergent flag as Y. Otherwise, we are being asked to populate it as N. And another important variable uh, in crossover periods would be your record level treatment variables. So here TRTA is the actual treatment variable. So when we have seen that the subject will be taking different drugs over different periods. So we want to attribute uh, the individual treatment that the subject is taking in that period to the particular record based on the analysis start date. So if analysis start date is in between AP01 SDT and AP02 AP01 EDT, so we are being asked to populate it with the value from TRT01A. So if it is falling in between period two start and end date, so we are being asked to populate with the value from TRT02A. And then for period 3, so we are being asked to populate it with the value from TRT03A. So TRT01A, 02A and 03A are subject level variables in which we'll have the treatment taken in period 1 and period 2 and period 3 respectively. So a record would actually fall in any of these three. So on that record, we are actually populating the treatment that the subject was taking on when that adverse event started. So we'll now see how to programmatically implement this. So here I am creating a copy of my AE dataset and calling it as AE01. So let us see how our input dataset looks like. So here we have our AE01, which is a copy of AE. So here we have four records for subject, same subject 1001. So the start dates are 13th May, 18th May, 1st August, and 10th August and we have the input variables which are actual uh, actual treatment in period 1, period 2 and period 3 are also given here and then we have the individual period start and end dates for the three periods are given. So 01 SDT, 01 EDT, 02 SDT, 02 EDT, 03 SDT and 03 EDT are given. So we need to check if our adverse event start date is falling in between these two dates or these two dates or these two dates and then populate it as Y if it is falling in any of those three intervals. Otherwise, we'll have to populate it as N. So let us now see how we are doing that. So here, uh, the first variable was ASTDT. So here we are creating ASTDT by converting the values present in ASTDTC to numeric format. So we will be able to create numeric dates only when the date is full. So we are checking if the date is full or not by checking the total number of characters present in AESTDTC variable using length function. So when we have full date in ISO 8601 notation, which is four digit year hyphen, two digit month hyphen, two digit day. So we'll have total 10 characters in it. So we are 
converting or creating ASTDT only when the date is full here. And then we are applying a format of date 9 to our ASTDT. And then we are actually creating our TRTA and TRTEMFL. So we are checking if our adverse event analysis start date is falling in between period 1 start and end date here. If it is falling in between these two, so we are asked to populate TRTEMFL is equal to Y. Because if it falls anywhere in these three intervals, so we are pop we were asked to populate as Y. So we are checking if this is falling in that interval. So if it is falling in that interval, we are flagging it as Y. And we are also creating our TRTA. So when this event started, so which means when uh, it is falling in between the period one and uh, period one start and end dates. So if it is meeting this condition, so what is the actual treatment that the subject was taking on when this event happened? It is the treatment taken in period one. So we are populating it the value with the value from TRT01A to TRTA here. So and then we are checking if the adverse event start date is falling in period to start or end. So if it is the case, so TRT EMFL gets Y and then TRT A will get the value now from second period treatment. So if it is falling in the interval boundaries of period two, so the treatment that the subject was on take was on when taking this, when that event happened is from TRT 0 to A. And then we have we are checking if the adverse event start date is falling in third period start and end dates. And then we are populating TRTA in this instance using the value from TRT03A. So again, if it falls here in this interval, again, it will get a value of TRTEMFL is equal to Y. So we are assigning it. You know, after all these things, if it is not falling any of uh, meeting any of these conditions, so we are, we will have TRTEMFL is equal to blank until this lines of code. So if it is missing after check, being checked for all these conditions, so we are assigning it as N so that we are saying it as not treatment emergent. So let us see AE02 data set and try to understand why a particular record will be classed as TRT EMF is equal to Y and then why some may not. So here if we see out of the four records, we have three records got a TRT EMF is equal to Y and the last one didn't. So let us now see what is happening. So here if we see the first record, the start date is 13th May 2010. Let's see where actually this falls in. So first period started on 3rd April and ended on 15th May. So 13th May is in between these two start dates. So we should call it as treatment emergent. So TRT EMFL is equal to Y. At the same time, we had another variable called TRT A derived. So as the start date is falling in between period one start and period two end date. So what was the subject? Uh, what was the treatment that the subject was on when that this event started? So it is period one, which is drug A. So we should get drug A on that record. And then we have our second record, which is headache. So which has a start date of 18th May. Now let us see if this where this is falling. So we have seen that first period ended on 15th May. Second period started on 16th May and it ended on 27th June. So 18th May is after 15th uh, 16th May and 27th June. So it is falling in the boundaries of second period start and end date. So TRT EMFL should have Y and TRT A should come from TRT 02A. On this record, TRT 02A is drug B. So we should have drug B here. So yes. And then we have bone pain, which is happening on 1st August 2010. Let's see where this is falling. So second period ended on 27th June, but third period started on 28th June and it lasted till 9th August. So 1st August less than 9th August. So it is falling in the boundaries of third period start and end dates. So this should have our TRT EMFL is equal to Y. So we have it. So but at the same time, what is the TRTA, so the TRTA, so as it is falling in the boundaries of 03 SDT and 03 EDT, it should get the value from TRT 03A. TRT 03A is drug C, so it is drug C here. And then we have nausea, which happened on 10th August 2010. So let us see what was the end date for AP03 EDT. It was 9th August. So it is happening after the 
third period end date so it is not meeting the condition specified so we will not be able to classify this as y so we we'll are calling it as n so and we cannot attribute it to any particular treatment so we will leave this drda blank because this event did not happen when the subject was in any of the periods so we will be only be able to populate drda when it is falling in those boundaries so overall what is happening so there was an event when the subject was in period one when taking drug a and there was a second event which was happening when subject took drug b and the third event which was had happened when the subject was taking drug c and there is a event which happened right after all the periods so which is trt emfl is equal to n so this is an example on how you may create trt emfl in your crossover studies Thank you for watching and keep learning.